What's up guys, Lifting here. In this video, I want to showcase a really neat little app that will make uh, it much less distracting uh, for you guys who like to farm lab like myself. And it's called Lab Compass. What this does is that it imports the layout. To do this, you go to PoE Lab like you always would to check out the layout. You download the Lab Compass file and then you of course need to have the program installed, but I'll leave a link to the installation uh, below. Once you've gotten that, you locate this uh, lab compass file that you've saved somewhere on your computer. And once you have lab compass up and running, you will then uh, click this button here, import lab notes, and then you'll find the file and uh, it will load up the layout here. What you then do is that you select the layout or the route you want to take for that day. So for me, for instance, today, I want to have the gauntlet in the first zone, so that's where we click. I don't care about uh, the dark shrine up here or the gauntlet here since it's not on the uh, uh, main road to Isaro. So we'll just go here and then um, Isaro zone. Then in this zone we can see Argus and dark shrine. We'll go here. Of course, there's no other way to go. Uh, dark shrine in this zone here. And as you can see, as we're doing this, it will count like how many dark shrines and um, caches and gauntlets, etc., that you will meet on your way. Next zone here, we'll skip eight. Arg or uh, Isaro again. It's a silver cache here if you want that. And we can see the silver key on the way here. So maybe uh, if, if you're interested in that. Um, I kind of want to go for the dark shrine and the puzzle down here. And we can go both this way and this way it seems. So it will go here, here, and then finally to the final room. Now this will summarize for us that we will meet Argus on the path, we will have three gauntlets slash puzzles, we will have three dark shrines, and we will have uh, two silver caches available to us if we want to go for that. And it tells us then the expected amount of treasure keys that we will have per run depending on RNG and uh, so forth. Once you've done that, you then uh, click it here and we go into the labyrinth. And I'm going to show you a run of this now. I'll try to make it uh, somewhat quick. If not, I'll like fast forward. But then as we are in the first zone, you can see it has now been loaded up. First of all, it tells us that this is where the exit is. It's to the right or up in the right corner. It will show either here, 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 or sometimes down here. I think it can show too. It also shows us that blue um, dot here, and that means there is a gauntlet or a puzzle in this zone here. So it reminds us that we need to do that. It can't show us where it is in the zone. That would be, I guess, mapping. <laughs> but it does remind us that it's there. Now, it seems like it is up here, and that was a treasure trove or whatever it's called in this room here. So we'll grab that, a labyrinth trove. That was the blue indicator. Okay, not much from that. We will then go to the next zone because based on the uh, route we chose, there's nothing more for us to find in uh, this zone. And it tells us up in the corner and it, sure enough, here is the uh, exit to the next zone. It then loads the uh, next zone as we go in here. And we can see this time there is an exit here, here, and the yellow one is the one we want to um, go to based on the choice that we made for our route. There's also a silver key in here if we want to grab that for a later treasure uh, key or a later silver chest. So we know it's kind of in the middle for the route that we plan, so probably somewhere down here, yeah. Aspirin's trial. And in this, it also shows us that we need to go this way here. In case you were wondering, we'll just quickly take care of Isabro. Actually, we have to wait for these to uh, proc if we want the key. So we will do that. Let's just get fortify. We'll build up some endurance charges in the meanwhile. And we have two procs and three. So we can take him out now if we want. 
stun him. And we are good. We'll let him <laughs> get unstunned so he can finish his animation. I'm sorry if the uh, FPS is a little bad because I have to record this in display capture. I couldn't capture it otherwise and show you guys. So next zone, it shows us we need to uh, choose the right path uh, based on our root choice. There's a dark shrine. That's what the red indicator and this circle blue green thing here that indicates that Argus is in this zone. So we want both the dark shrine and the um, and the Argus. So we'll try and find these. Typically, there's always one of them in uh, this way, around this way here. And here's the dark shrine. Yeah, we'll open here, and we will open here too. Let's see what we get here. We got <laughs> Perma Diamond Shrine, which is terrible for us. We're using Resolute Technique, but fair enough. We then um, get reminded that Argus is here too. And question is then when, where, uh, but it's probably over here. Yes, it's here. And I kind of want my endurance charges up for this. He's kind of like a, a counter to my build uh, since he can't be stunned. But uh, it's going all right. So we got Argus, we got the Dark Shrine, we have everything we need. We know we need to go to the right part of the uh, map. And sure enough, that was. Now, in this zone, uh, there's a silver key, there's a dark shrine, there's an exit up here, but we need to go for the yellow one, which is to the uh, left this time. So we'll find the dark shrine, and there is the silver key here on the way, so I will grab that because I know there are uh, silver keys, or a silver chest that I will most likely encounter on the way. Yeah, so we'll take that as an added bonus. Then we will uh, try and find the Dark Shrine. And it could be either... Yeah, it's here. And what did we get? We got reduced damage taken from traps. Okay. Well, fair enough. That was not really what we were hoping for, right? We would like twice enchanted on extra treasure key. So we have to go to the um, to the left this time. And there we go. Next zone. And here it tells us there is a gauntlet and there is a silver chest here. We have the silver key, so if we see the silver chest, we kind of want to get that. And it's up here. This is where the silver chest is. Just take care of that real quick. And it was a jewel chest, so nothing super exciting. Take this and this. We know there is a gauntlet too here. Or in this zone. And it looks like it's up there. Today is a pretty good lap. And it, yeah, it's here. And it's a curious lockbox, and that's nice. So we can get that extra key. There we go. Don't really care about that. And we will then continue to the next zone now because we have both of the two objects that it's showing us. And that's Aspirin's Trial, uh, the second level. And in this, we will be fighting uh, gargoyles. So we can just take him on from the, from the get-go.
Excellent. We'll let him finish his animation. And next zone. It then, and, and as you guys may have noticed, it also shows you a timer for how uh, quick you've been in the lamp. There's a silver chest in this zone too. We only have one silver key, so that's not worth pursuing. But we can see we need to go to the uh, right part of the uh, layout to progress to the next zone that we have planned on our uh, route. And it could be here, I guess. Yeah, it is. And as far as I remember, there was nothing in the next zone. Nope. There's nothing here, so it just shows us we need to go to the to the um, next zone, to the right. Hmm. Oh, it c I get. Let's go up here. I think that's faster. And I can't reply to that right now. I'll reply to him afterwards. Okay, next zone. And here it reminds us that there is a puzzle or a gauntlet and a dark shrine. So we'll try and get both. And here's the dark shrine. Or maybe it's the... Yeah, it's, it's the uh, gauntlet. Puzzle, maybe. That was the dark shrine. Excellent. And uh, we got twice enchanted this time. Sweet. And then we will want to try and uh, find that puzzle. Okay, we can't leave there. So that's typically in the opposite direction. Yes, here it is. And it's the um, very straightforward click until it opens. Just stop a, stop a little before you go all the way. And there we go. It should open. And that's the curious lockbox. Very nice. Anything else? No. So, so far we have three keys already, and that's nice. And we then know we need to go to the right part of it, because we got everything else that was um, in here. We got the Dark Shrine, and we got the Gauntlet or the Puzzle. And final Aspirant's trial here. Deal with him here. Oh, I should have. Uh, fine. And we will stun him to death. Oops. There we go. So three keys from Isaro, and we had three keys from. Um, the gauntlets and such. And then it's, of course, blue time. Ooh, and two more keys here. Very nice. I mean, I can't even see uh, what I'm supposed to click here. I think that was all of them, right? Yeah. So, um, quality 16, offering some currency, six nuggets. And pretty sweet. And that's how the uh, application works, guys. It shows you or it reminds you what you need to do in each zone. And for me, at least, I get distracted pretty easily. For me, this is a, a huge time saver. It keeps me focused. It keeps me doing what I'm supposed to. And uh, it just feels so much better uh, lapping with this. And uh, the link to the lab compass, the app here, is below in the description. And um, there's, of course, a link to PoE Lab 2, but uh, you guys know of that. That's what I wanted to show you. Thank you for watching, and bros, do you even nerd?